The time they are making plans mm -hmm. to kill our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. So we ought to be happy about that. Yeah. There's nothing else. He laid us down last night and woke us up this morning. Yeah. Clothed in our right mind. Yeah. Nobody had to come in and dress us this morning. Yeah. He brought us out here to break up for one more time. So church, we ought to be glad that we're two or three are gathered together in his name. There he will be in the midst. And he's in the midst of us today. If nobody else, he's in with me. And I thank God for bringing me out of this one more time. He didn't have to do it, church, but he did. Yes. Praise the Lord. And we do need just a little more Jesus. Sometimes we're going to have to go by ourselves. Yeah. We're going to look around and there won't be nobody to follow us. Yeah. We're going to have to go by ourselves. Yeah. Jesus is the answer yeah. to all our problems. Yeah. We don't have anything to be sad about. Mm -hmm. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things will be added unto you. you. I thank God. I thank Pastor for giving me this opportunity today. So let me say a word for the Lord. Amen. She didn't have to do it. But I just thank her for Amen. allowing me to stand here in this place that God has put her, made her shepherd over. Yes. And I thank Great Temple for being here. Amen. You know, this might be my last time. I don't know. Amen. But while the blood is running warm in my veins, I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I, I, I want to thank Nicole. I see her back there. That's my daughter, Nicole. Amen. She doesn't come around very often. Mm -hmm. But it's just a pleasure. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see you, Nicole. Amen. I'm full already. Thank God. Mm -hmm. um, I thank my children and Reverend Gordon. Mm -hmm. It could have been someplace else. Mm -hmm. But I thank God mm -hmm. that he led them here today. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, gracious Father, mm -hmm. we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. It is once again that you brought us out to this place. Mm -hmm. This day that we are calling a missionary day. Yes. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for keep on blessing us, pouring out your spirit, and wrapping us close in your arms, Heavenly Father, sheltering us from all our common things. Yes. Mm -hmm. no. Now, Lord, I'm standing here in, in this place today that's called, called Poor Pit. Mm -hmm. The place to speak your word, Lord. Yes. Yes. I can't speak, Lord, until you come. Come, Lord. Come, Lord. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon me. Let the people see all of you, Lord, and love me. And Jesus, amen. Amen. I chose today's subject for missionaries on a mission, empowered by faith. A missionary is a person sent out to spread religion in foreign countries. A mission is a special duty or an error a person is sent out to do by a church or government, etc. This particular mission of the missionaries is to go out and convert people to Christianity, to tell everyone right. about the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Matthew 28, God gave us the Great Commission. Yes, mm -hmm. 28, 19, and 20. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son yes. and of the Holy Ghost. That's right. yeah. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Yes. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Yes. God said go. go. When God tells us to go, he's already made provision. Yeah. He has paved the way. 
You have been in, been in a, been made, you have made preparation. So he has already prepared you mm -hmm. yeah. for the journey. Yeah. Yeah. God don't send us no place mm -hmm. unless he's already given us talk and say what to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you start out on this journey, this faith walk, mm -hmm. with this burning desire, this determination to obey God's word. Mm -hmm. Now if I may use, the scripture has to be read. Mm -hmm. The text. John 3, 1 through 17. But if I may borrow or use an example of Abraham in Genesis 12, 1 and 4. Right. And as I paraphrase, when you get home, you read the scripture. The Lord said to Abraham, get up. Go out of your country from your kindred and from the father's house. Go to a land where I will show you. Leave all your kindred and family behind. Yeah. Go, Abraham. I will make you a great nation. Yeah. I will bless thee and make thy name great. Yeah. I will bless those that bless thee. Yeah. Curse those that curse thee. Yeah. And because of you, all the family of the earth <coughs> shall be blessed. Well, God's wise and sovereign choice singles Abraham out. Yes. Called him out from among his fellow idolaters. Yes. Abraham obeyed God. Mm -hmm. He got up and started on his mission. Mm -hmm. right. His faith walk, not knowing where he was going. All right. Not knowing where he was going, he got up and he started out. Yes. Yes. Abraham was fully satisfied <coughs> that the call, the promise, and the command, yes. the only one, the one and only true God, he believed that his testimony was true mm -hmm. and the promise faithful. And God was able to fulfill it. Missionaries, we as Christians like Abraham, right. we should be sure that the blessings of the Almighty God is sufficient yes. Yes. to compensate for all that we could lose or leave behind. Yes. Yes. Be sure it is enough to countervail all our trials. Mm -hmm. God can supply all our wants yeah. and answers and to answer and exceed all our desires and expectations. Yes. He has the power. Abraham took a faith walk. This was the kind of faith which produced obedience. <coughs> he was convinced that nothing but misery could follow disobedience. All right. Now I'm sure the human side of Abraham, Abraham was reluctant to go. I believe he wondered, what would people think of me? Who would make fun of me? Or even ridicule me? For leaving my family and everything behind, not being able to tell his curious neighbors or his postulated relatives where he was going. God said, get up and go. Don't worry about your family, your friends. Leave everything behind. Because he had faith in God, mm -hmm. I believe he was excited about the journey yes. and the merits and the atonement of the promise, yes. the promised seed. And the consequent obedience proved his, his faith to be genuine and his profession sincere. Yes. The faith that produced <coughs> obedience is the kind that exceeds all of status. Mm -hmm. Knowing that God's word is true, that his promise remains forever. God is a man that cannot lie, and he cannot go back on his word. Right. So we should be willing and excited when we pray for that willingness and the desire to get up, go out, win souls to Christ. If we keep his commandments, God said he 
will bless those who bless you yeah. and curse those yeah. that curses you. Yeah. When the Lord tells us to do something, he knows that we will do it. Yeah. God knows the strength of our faith. Yeah. He wants us to know yeah. that we can do all things through Christ. Yeah. When, we put, when we put our trust in him, yeah. he said, if I make one step, yeah. he would make two. Yeah. <laughs> Little by little, day by day, the Lord is preparing us. He's working on the inside, getting us ready, cutting away all the hatred, the laziness, the ugliness, all our sinful ways, the renewing our mind. He's renewing our mind and transforming us. So when he tells us to go, visit the sick, go wash someone's clothes, clean someone's house, Give a financial love offer yeah. or talk to some wayward boy or girl. Yeah. When God speaks, mm. we must be willing to move. Yeah. Take that faith walk. Don't question God, but trust, trust. that He's well able yeah. to do more and abundantly yeah. than we can ask or think. Mm -hmm. Now, the scripture text was read John 3 1 through 17. Here we find in the scripture, a man called Nicodemus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nicodemus was, and I'm paraphrasing, an influential man All right. in, in, in religious service yes. in Jesus' time. Mm -hmm. He was a member of the Jewish ruling council mm -hmm. yeah. called the Sanhedrin. Mm -hmm. right. Probably a man of wealth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I'm sure people looked up to him. Yeah. Yeah. He was a man of authority yeah. and knowledge. He wasn't satisfied, yeah. but nor was he content mm -hmm. with his status. So, in John 3 and 2, Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, Rabbi, mm -hmm. we know and are sure mm -hmm. that you have come from God. Yeah. Right? As a teacher, no one can do these signs, yeah. this wonderful work, mm -hmm. these miracles, and produce the proof that you do, right. unless God is with them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, being a man of authority, mm -hmm. we don't know exactly why mm -hmm. he came to Jesus by night. Right. Mm -hmm. right. He could have been afraid of what others might say, yeah. like us. Yeah. When we are asked to do things in church, mm -hmm. get up and speak. Mm -hmm. We're afraid people are going to laugh and make fun of us. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't know why he came to Jesus by night. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was afraid. <coughs> Maybe he didn't want to be seen with the carpenter mm -hmm. All right. from Nazareth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he came with questions. Yeah. He wanted answers. Mm -hmm. He had a spark of interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe he couldn't sleep at night. All right. Because of the questions in his head. Yeah. You know, sometimes something burdens come upon us and yeah. we can't sleep at night. Yeah. Right. Maybe Nicodemus was one of those. He couldn't rest at night. Right. He had to come and go see Jesus. Yeah. Right. So he came by night. Yeah. Maybe he was curious or just bothered by Jesus' teaching. Mm -hmm. right. Maybe he was angry at the notoriety and the prestige Jesus was getting. Mm -hmm. We don't know. But I believe he was being set up, and he didn't even know. Mm -hmm. He was compelled to see Jesus, yeah. All right. so he took a faith walk. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, All right. except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yeah. Right. Nicodemus came with questions. Mm -hmm. We see he was confused. Man of knowledge and authority and power. He was confused. Yes. He only knew one language, and that was the language of the earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't understand what Jesus was talking about. Yeah. He thought Jesus was talking about a physical work. A physical work. Mm -hmm. So he said, how can a man be born mm -hmm. when he is old? Mm -hmm. right. Can he enter a second time? Enter his mother's womb and be born. 
Jesus said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot go where it, where it is. Come, and where they go. So is every man that is born of the Spirit. Marvel not, I say unto you. You must be born again. You got to be born again. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? How can these things be? I don't understand what you're talking about. Be born again. I'm an old man. I can't go back to my mother and go into my mother's womb. So how can this be? Explain to me what you are talking about. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou master of Israel? And knoweth not these things? Jesus was speaking of a life of regeneration to live a new life. All right. Birth is the beginning of life. Yes. To be born again is to be born anew. Right. To us that have lived a wrongful life or to have lived with little purpose, yeah. we must not think to patch up the old bill. But we must start from the foundation. Yeah. We must have a new nature, new principles, yeah. new affection, mm -hmm. and new aim. Mm -hmm. We must be born again mm -hmm. and from above. Yeah. We must be born anew. We cannot remain the same old person mm -hmm. as before. We must be entirely different. Yeah. We must be born again yeah. and from above. Yeah. This is to be born to a divine and heavenly life. Yeah. It is a great change made in the heart of the sinner mm -hmm. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. This means that something is done <coughs> in us and for us yeah. that we cannot do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Church. <clears throat> when the grace of God changes our heart, mm -hmm. our outward appearance mm -hmm. is the same. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Yeah. But the inner spirit mm -hmm. is totally new. Amen. Amen. We are new women and men, mm -hmm. new missionaries. New Christians, yeah. <coughs> new boys and girls, possessed of new faculties, new affections, mm -hmm. new dispositions, right. make new use, we make new use of all our senses and our powers. We enter as a new creature into a spiritual world. Yeah. Yeah. Whether we're educated or uneducated, <laughs> you are Gentile, black or white, right. rich or poor, <coughs> powerful or weak, yeah. blue blood and our blue collar, mm. religious or sinner. We all must be born again. Yeah. Yeah. We are all looking for answers. Yeah. Now we know the Bible, the Holy Word is the Holy Word of God, mm. yeah. is our instruction book. Mm. As Christians and missionaries, we must read, study, pray mm -hmm. yeah. that God will write it, these scriptures upon our heart. Yeah. 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 Remember the promise and the great commission. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. Yeah. Don't look for answers mm -hmm. within ourselves or other people, yeah. but look yeah. in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There is no question that he can 
ask. He told us to ask anything in his name, believe in the same. <clears throat> and that we will receive it. He told us to seek mm -hmm. and we will find. Yeah. Knock yes. and the door will be open unto us. Yes. God is available mm -hmm. 24-7. Yes, he is. There's nothing too hard for God. Nothing. Nothing. We go to sleep. We get tired. Mm -hmm. We don't ask our phone. We look at our call ID mm -hmm. and say, well, I can't talk to them now. Mm -hmm. God never turns away. Mm -hmm. He never closes his ear. Mm -hmm. He's that all-seeing God and all-knowing God. Mm -hmm. Every minute, every second of the day, mm -hmm. God knows where you are. Mm -hmm. He knows where we live. Mm -hmm. He has our address. Right. He is from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Before we were born and conceived into our mother's womb, yeah. God knew us. Yeah. And he still knows us today. Yes. Yeah. Nicodemus came looking and asking for questions. He came to the right place. He came to Jesus. Yeah. And he got answers. Mm -hmm. Between the beginning of John, uh, the beginning of John, and John 19, 38 and 42, Nicodemus was transformed, regenerated, made new, and born again. All right. Nicodemus was there after Jesus died. All right. The Bible doesn't say, but he might have been there all the time. Yes. Joseph Abathir is the one who took Jesus' body down from the cross mm -hmm. all right. and took care of it. Nicodemus was a Jewish leader who was opposing his colleagues by his actions. Yeah. By helping taking down the man that other religious leaders had killed. Yeah. Nicodemus took a bold step of faith yeah. to show that he was a follower yeah. of the same one he came to by night. Mm -hmm. The conversation Nicodemus had with Jesus warned him over to follow Christ. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, yeah. that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, mm -hmm. but that the world through him might be saved. Mm -hmm. The leaders thought <laughs> that they had the power to kill mm -hmm. our Lord and Savior. Right. Mm -hmm. But he gave his life so that you and I, yes, Lord. so that the world might be saved. Yes, yes they whipped him up the hill. Mm -hmm. That old rugged hill. Mm -hmm. They made him carry the cross. Yeah. They put lashes on his back. Yeah. They nailed him to the cross. Yeah. Yeah. They pierced him in the side. Yeah. They didn't know he had the power to come down. Amen. Only love held him there. Amen. They took him down and buried him in a borrowed tomb. Yeah. But the grave couldn't hold him. Yeah. Love kept him there for three days. Right. And on the third day, he rose. He yeah. got up for you, for you and for me. Yeah. For my sin and your sin. That's right. He showed up. How? And he told us to love one another love yeah. as he has loved us. Yeah. Yeah. For us, he got up with power in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. He told us to go. Tell someone about the love of Jesus. Yeah. And remember, that you must be born again. Mm -hmm. As you go, remember he said he will bless you, those who blesses you, yeah. and curse those who curses you. Right. Whatever problem you have today, mm -hmm. go to Jesus. Yeah, man. Whatever help, pain, or whatever you need, mm -hmm. go to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Yeah. Yes, he's going a battle working here. This is the season. Yeah. We should be prepared.
works and deeds that I do, yes. that you will be able to do. He has given us the yes. power. Yes. Yes. Go. Go. Yes. Go. Tell some way with boy or girl. Yes. Go. Yes. Wash someone's clothes. Go visit the sick. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. Missionary. You are on a mission. Mm -hmm. Go. Jesus said, go ye therefore yes. into all the world. No. Not just here at Great Church. Yes. Yes. Go. Yes. And he said, go. Yes, Lord. He gave us the great commission. Mm -hmm. The command. Go. go. Amen. Sometimes we don't know everything about a person. 
Yeah. We don't know what his last thoughts were, yeah. his yeah. last words yeah. before yeah. he took yeah. his yeah. last yeah. breath. Yeah. But Lord, even in dying, Jesus taught us that yeah. if we only believe, yeah. that we shall. Yes, Lord. Lord. Even a thief on the cross that said that he knew who Jesus was yeah. and was told that he'll yeah. be with him that day in paradise. Yeah. Lord, even on the cross, yeah. he was saved. Yes, Lord. And so, Lord, we know that even yeah. on our dying bed, yeah. before we take our last breath, yeah. and you come seeking after your own Lord, if we yeah. only confess. Yeah. Yeah. And Lord, we don't know what Brother Philip did, what was in his heart yeah. or in his mind, yeah. but you know. Oh, you know. Yeah. And so Lord, we just ask you to touch yeah. Brother Dale. Yeah. Give yeah. him comfort, oh God. Yeah. Let him Lord, know that his nephew is alright right. yeah. and he's in your hands. Yes, in the blessed name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Yes.